Welcome to DeFi Crypto Today. Our topic today is updates about Wonderland on the Phantom Network. Yeah. Uh, but first, I, I saw this meme here about uh, Morpheus and the red pill and the blue pill. So for those of you who saw the Matrix, you're probably familiar with this, but this is an interesting quote that's oddly related to Wonderland. <laughs> so if you read this, it says, this is your last chance. After this, there's no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and you believe whatever the government tells you and your bank tells you, okay? You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. <laughs> It's so apropos, it's so funny, uh, it's uh, totally hilarious. Anyway, so let's get into the heart of the matter. So, as you know, Wonderland is on Avalanche at the moment. Only on Avalanche, and that's why it's saying wrong network, because now I'm not set up for Av uh, Avalanche. I'm on the Phantom Network, so I set up, see, Phantom on my MetaMask, okay? And the thing is, I think the goal is eventually to have the, uh, this website on multiple chains, okay? And I think this is the first steps, okay? And there's a ton of information I'm gonna talk about today, so uh, I put a lot of uh, timestamps, so if you want to skip ahead the, the parts you don't want, go ahead, okay? So, basically, you have several possible strategies on Phantom now, using um, the, the memo tokens, the wrapped memo tokens, okay? So for those who don't remember, uh, you've got time tokens, okay, and by themselves, time tokens don't accrue any APY, okay, they don't accrue the 54,000%, okay, you have to stake them. So if you have any time in your wallet, it's going to show here, then you stake it, and it turns into memo tokens like this, okay. Now, memos are just state time that's it and what's what does memo do memo when it just accrues interest so if you had one memo after every eight hours your memo accrues this much value so for instance for me i had about one memo i'm going to get 0 0.005993 memo every eight hours okay for as long as this APY stays at this rate, the APY goes up and down, so this value goes up and down every eight hours. All right? So here, I accrue more and more and more and more memos every eight hours, okay? So, for instance, to give you an idea, after five days, you get about 9% more memos added to this value here, okay? And I just published a new video explaining compound interest. So if that's confusing to you, please watch the compound interest Wonderland video that I just po posted. It explains everything in very, very, very simple terms. Okay? And it shows how you can just use your regular phone calculator, okay, to calculate, okay, how much money am I making in... Uh, one day, five days, ten days, uh, one month, ten months, a year, whatever. You, you, you choose, okay? And you do that in like 30 seconds. Okay, you know how many uh, memo tokens you're getting. Okay, 30 seconds. Super easy. Okay? So it's all explained, all in detail, very, very, very simply. So go watch the freaking video. <laughs> okay, so... All right, so we understand this part, okay? So memo tokens accrue in value because they're sucking in 
extra memos every eight hours. You get more and more memo tokens added to your memo token. All right, so now we know that. What happens? Well, there was an announcement on the Discord channel of Wonderland. I strongly recommend that you uh, join uh, the Discord uh, channel on, uh, for Wonderland, okay? And you check in the announcements and you get all the news there. And when things uh, freak out, well, you can ask the nice people here and uh, they'll inform you, okay? Um, so, basically, what are they doing? Okay, users on the Phantom Chain. So, regular Wonderland is on Avalanche. Now, we're talking about the Phantom Chain, okay? Can now purchase state time in the form of wrapped memo tokens. So, you got the W memo. It's wrapped. So, they take the memo. They put in a little box. They put gift wrap on top in a little bow. And then, you can have it on the Phantom Network. What's the advantage of that? Well, you can take, um, you know, basically any token you've got on the Phantom Network. You've got Phantom tokens, you've got Spooky tokens, you've got uh, whatever, Boo tokens, anything, any token. All right? And I'll show you uh, how to do it. And you can swap them on Spooky Swap for wrapped memo tokens. You don't need to buy time and go to the Wonderland web, uh, website and then stake. Okay? So, you, you, you kind of save a step. Because if you're on Avalanche, you take whatever, you've got USDC, USDT, uh, AVAX, whatever, and then you go to Trader Joe, let's say, and you swap your tokens for time tokens and then you go to the Wonderland website and you stake your time and it becomes memo tokens and now it starts accruing interest. But well, now you can skip uh, one step. Basically you're getting state it says here state time already through by buying memo token wrapped memo tokens on spooky. Okay? So, you need to make this appear on your MetaMask wallet, okay? It's not going to appear alone, okay? You need to add this thing here, the W memo. I don't have any here, okay? All my, my memos are on Avalanche, but I'm, I'm showing you how to do it, okay? So, you need to add this thing here, okay? So, you need to add the code. Uh, to, to add that, and you can do it from uh, Spooky Swap. So the link, okay, is here. The Swap Spirit Swap, uh, sorry, it's Spirit Swap uh, on Dot Finance. Okay, so we can go there and uh, do it. Actually, it works also on Spooky. It works on Spooky and Spirit Swap. I'll, I'll show you both. Now let's say in th this is the easy way, in my opinion. Now, there are people that say, okay, I'm already on Wonderland here. I've got my memo token, I've got time tokens, let's say, and I want to switch them over to uh, Phantom. Okay, well, it's a little bit more complicated. You would have to go to Abracadabra. You would have to wrap them over there. They give you the little gift box and the wrapping paper and the little bow on top. And <laughs> you do that there. I'm not going to show you that. I, I think this is more complicated. If you really, 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 really want to know this, I'll make another video about it, so leave a comment below, but they explain how to do it here, roughly. And then you would have to bridge uh, the tokens here. They're using Uniswap, but I prefer Seabridge. Okay, I like Seabridge better than any swap. So you'd have to uh, bridge that over and then you add liquidity to the mem rep memo pair and you can stake it at Spirit Swap. That's another thing and I'll explain that in a minute. Alright, so they have this uh, liquidity pair here and you could earn, well, you're not going to get this right now. It's uh, a lot lower than this. This was when uh, there was only $327 on it. Now this is uh, 
a few million, I think. So it's a lot lower. Okay, so let's let's have a look at uh, at how to swap regular tokens into wrapped memo tokens. Okay, so let's do the swapping on uh, Spirit Swap. Okay, so we go to Exchange. Okay, so you're here and you want to get some wrap memo tokens. So you take whatever you got, could be any token. You have any token. <laughs> so let's say you've got uh, USDT, let's say. Okay, now this little button helps you add the token to your uh, MetaMask if you don't already have listed in your MetaMask. So use the little plus button. There. So I can do like this and I can add USDT like this. So add token. It says FUSDT because it's Phantom USDT which is the same as USDT but it's uh, it's got a special code to make it work on Phantom. Okay. So we want to get wrapped memo. There you go. So in order for you to see your wrapped memo on MetaMask, you need to click that little plus button here. Okay, and you click add token like this, and then you're gonna see it in your assets at the at the bottom here. Alright? That's how you get it there. If you don't put it there, you're not going to see it. Okay? So, so I'm, uh, I'm not going to perform the transaction, but you put whatever amount of money you got, let's say $1,000, and you would get this many wrap memos. Okay, they tell you the price per wrap memo. And you check, okay, the price impact is pretty low, so that's cool. And um, yeah, everything looks fine. So if you add enough uh, USDTs to um, to perform the transaction, then you just hit the button and confirm in your MetaMask. And then that's the first strategy. You uh, very easily get uh, wrap memo tokens that accrue interest automatically just by doing this. So let's close this because it's beeping. Uh, <laughs> okay, so um, that, that, that's, a f that's a very easy number one strategy. You don't have any extra risk. Okay, you just have the risk of the Wonderland uh, protocol. Okay, so if you already like the Wonderland protocol and you think it's good enough for you, okay, um, then you just have that uh, that risk, okay? So uh, you, you have the price fluctuations of the memo token, which is pretty wild, okay? That thing goes up and down a couple thousand dollars per day, that's normal, okay? Try to buy when it's lower. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the prices uh, for time and memo go up and down considerably. So be aware of that before you buy, don't say uh, that, oh, I paid 8,000, now it's five, and what do I do? Well, we keep it until it goes back up. Or if you're really not happy, well, sell it and do whatever you, and the heck you want, okay? All right, so that's strategy number one. Lowest risk, it's it just as risky as the uh, regular uh, memo that you would get on the Wonderland on ABAX, okay? So that, that's, that's the same level of risk. Now, if you want more risk, <laughs> we, have, uh, we have other choices. So, <clears throat> we can, uh, let me check, I forget which farms. <laughs> let me check the farms. So on Spirit, farms, sorry. Okay, here we are. Okay, so, wrap memo. Oh, it's here. It's slow. Sorry. All right. So we have the wrap memo MIM LP pair, liquidity pair. Okay. 
Now, there's about $2.8 million of liquidity in there. The APR is 139%, okay? The good news is there's no uh, deposit fee. The other good news is, oh, finally, it's reacting. That, that's a little bit annoying. So, the other good news is you're getting a 139% APR, okay? which is basically a farm APR plus LP APR. So basically you're getting some fees that are generated by uh, Spirit Swap, okay, and they're added to your LP. Now, there's one big problem, okay? The problem is, um, right now you're getting 54,000%. Because it's in a liquidity pair, uh, you're not going to get 54,000%. It's more like half. Because the, the, the value that's accrued on the uh, memo, on the wrap memo, okay, means that the, the liquidity pair wants to balance out. So there's too much value on one side. The other side wants to uh, suck in that value to bring back equilibrium. Okay, that's how LPs work. Okay, when one token goes up too much in value, the other one uh, wants to compensate. So it sells the higher value token and buys the lower value token. So it goes back and forth like this. Okay, as the prices go up and down. Okay, so you lose a bit of value each time okay so be aware of that before you decide to invest in this okay personally i prefer strategy one so far okay simply because well, i'm getting 54 thousand percent and i don't have to do anything i just leave the token sitting in my metamask wallet up here that's it. There are no other fees, so that, that, that's about it. In terms of uh, uh, protocol risk, these guys have been audited. They had no critical major uh, issues. They were had only a, one warning, so not, not, nothing big. So uh, the audit's pretty clean. So I have no problem uh, putting my money on Spirit Swap. It looks okay. All right. It's just that here, because it's a uh, interest-bearing uh, token, okay, a yield-bearing uh, token, um, we tend to lose on it, uh, on this. So I'm not exactly entirely enthusiastic about uh, putting uh, my wrap memo into a liquidity pair, but I'm showing it to you anyway. It's you do what you want. Okay, so the next one is Morpheus, this guy. It's actually a Morpheus uh, website on uh, protocol on the Phantom. And they, they got the glasses and the, uh, you can see the, uh, the matrix uh, background here. So the, the token is called the Morph here. Okay, so uh, they have all these uh, tokens. Now what's interesting here, this is another strategy. So you have your, your rep memo that you bought on SpiritSwap, right? And you can, you go into pools and you can stake it directly here on top, okay? And it's gonna give you an APR of 45.49 percent at the moment okay which is probably going to go down over time as more and more people would put liquidity in there so be aware of that now my biggest issue with this okay is a deposit fee of two percent now that doesn't sound like a lot let's think i'm going to take me almost a month to get it back okay because basically I'm giving them, uh, let, let, let's say I'm, uh, 
depositing a thousand dollars worth of memos here. Okay, two percent is twenty bucks. It's gonna take uh, several weeks. Okay, before uh, like two three weeks before I get my twenty bucks back with this APR here, forty five point forty nine percent. Okay, almost a month. So it's like yeah. Anyway, if you uh, are planning to deposit here for uh, more than a month, then yeah, that's that's okay. Uh, but be aware of it before you make the decision, okay? Now, there's a multiplier. What this means is that the multiplier represents the amount of morph rewards each farm gets. So you're getting paid in morph tokens. For example, a 1x farm was getting one morph per second, a 40x farm would be getting 40 morphs per second. So this one has a multiplier of 30, so we get that this pool would get. 30 morphs per second, according to this here. Okay? Now, how safe is this protocol? Well, we have an audit. Lovely people. So, um, they didn't have any high issues. But they had two medium issues, and they were not modified, they were just acknowledged. So, we're going to have a look at that. And they had two uh, low issues, and one was resolved, and one was acknowledged only. They had eight informationals, and none of them were changed also. So I'm more concerned about the medium issues. So um, we are going to have a look at this audit report and see what they're saying. Sometimes those things are really important to check. So I encourage you to uh, bite the bullet and read the audits. All right, so this is uh, the uh, table of contents of the audit. So we have these two medium issues in the Master Chef and this low issue here. And we have the other low issue. This one, okay, see these were just acknowledged and this one was resolved. So the result were fine. Now if we go down further and have a look, so what they're saying here, okay, is within the, uh, the token contract, mit, uh, minting tokens to the zero address will revert transactions, deposit and uh, withdrawals will break if this thing is ever set to zero address due to the update pool blah blah function. Okay, so they make a recommendation, okay, and client, the, the, the protocol said, and people in the protocol said, okay, all right, now we know, uh, we're aware of the issue, and we're going to make sure that uh, that that function, okay, never uh, be set to the zero address. So they didn't change the code, they just said, okay, we're not going to put it to the zero address. Now, the, 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 the thing I see with this is that Maybe, I don't know, I'm not a hacker, I'm not a programmer, okay? I'm just a stupid little farmer. And uh, if I was a hacker, I would go and check this and say, hmm, maybe I can set up this thing to the, to the zero address. I don't know, maybe there's a way to do that. I don't know. That, that, that's the first thing I would think about uh, being if I were a hacker. But I don't know how to do it, so whatever. Maybe it doesn't work. And there's another one, medium severity. Okay, there's a raw subtraction of the deposit function. Okay, it could be susceptible to integer overflows. So they say you should be upgrading your solidity, that's the language that they use for uh, coding, and using the safe math sum instead of the raw subtraction. The client says that they take in measures to accurately calculate before and after balances, as this issue will only materialize if the before is larger than after and this seldom occurs. So they say they kind of fixed it, okay, because this problem uh, doesn't happen too much. Although these guys, the auditors, think that, you know, there's a risk there. Okay, and there's another uh, low risk issue. Projects sometimes ac accidentally update their mission rate to a severely high number, either by accident or with malicious intent. Malicious intent means a hacker gets in there. 
client acknowledge the issue and mention that this function will either not be used or rarely used, and when used, utmost care will be taken to correctly and safety set the emission rate. So, um, I don't know. I'm not entirely convinced, okay, that uh, the code is as safe as the client, uh, Morpheus, uh, thinks. Okay, but again, I'm not a programmer. Okay, I'm just reading the audits with my limited understanding. Okay, and I say, well, the auditors found three bugs. Is it that difficult to fix those bugs? I don't know. I don't know. So it's up to you. I'm just giving you the information. You decide, okay, is it worth uh, the risk? Okay, that, 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 that's why you need to check out audits. Okay, when you see medium warnings and uh, they didn't fix them, they'd say, oh yeah, that's fine, it should be okay. You trust those guys, okay? Don't forget, this is a trustless system, okay? Uh, the code should be uh, good enough that hackers should not be able to go in there and mess it up, okay? And the auditors tell you, well, there's a chance that something can go wrong here. Okay, you decide. All right, so uh, next strategy. There, there's so many. They've got the Beethoven website that's uh, brand new, brand spanking new. And you can also uh, put your uh, rap memo tokens here. So here, here this, I guess they're fans of uh, Daniele. So they got the magic touch by Daniele Poole. <laughs> Daniele, for those who don't know, is the guy that uh, is uh, behind uh, Wonderland, behind uh, Popsicle, and behind Abracadabra, which are three very, very successful websites at the moment. There's a lot of hype going on uh, in the crypto world about that. So, uh, they decided to make a pool, and if we look inside, uh, right now it's not going to display everything. I don't know if it's working very well. I have not tried it. So, what's in the pool? The pool contains the spell token from Abracadabra, the ice token from Popsicle, the rap memo token from Wonderland, the mem token from Abracadabra, and the rap phantom network, uh, phantom uh, token from the phantom network. So essentially, you're getting yourself a little um, portfolio of tokens, most of them, like four out of five, come from Daniele. So if you really like Daniele, you can say, wow, I'm betting on this guy. Okay, and I'm staking uh, my coins here. Now again, uh, it's going to be a bit of uh, impermanent loss. Because, uh, you know, you've got several uh, tokens staked together. Now the thing is, when you have a lot of tokens staked together, uh, some of them will vary, except the MIM token, which is a stable coin. So all the others will go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And typically, uh, you know, some will compensate uh, others and so on. So your impermanent loss is usually reduced when you have a large portfolio like like this instead of just having a pair of two tokens now you've got five tokens so this is usually less in permanent loss okay it, it's not a guarantee okay but you, usually you reduce your impermanent loss so if you reduce your impermanent loss I'm guessing this is a guess okay I'm not guaranteeing this this is a guess that you're probably keeping most of your 54,000% APY here, okay? But maybe not. I haven't done the math, okay? It's a little bit complicated, so I haven't done the math yet. So keep that in mind. It might be a risk that you're not getting your full 54,000%, uh, but then again, you only have 20% of, of the pool that's uh, put as rep memos. Now, and under warning, the way you invest here, th th this is a clone of Balancer. Balancer is 
uh, one of the top 10 uh, DeFi protocols in the world. Okay, it's very, very, very well audited. Uh, it works very, very well. It's very smart uh, the way they designed it and so on. And this is a copy. Okay. Now, the way it works is that it will take whatever token, uh, any of these five tokens that you've got in your wallet, and it's going to spread them amongst these five other tokens. So let's say you have spell tokens right now. Okay, so let's say you've got a thousand dollars of spell tokens and you deposit them here you hit max uh, sorry here you hit max and your spell tokens are deposited but now you don't have a thousand dollars worth of spell tokens anymore okay it you're only gonna have three hundred dollars worth of spell tokens two hundred dollars worth of ice tokens twenty uh, uh, two hundred dollars of uh, rap memo tokens hundred fifty dollars of min tokens and hundred fifty dollars of uh, phantom tokens. So, be careful. Make sure that's what you want to do. So let's say, for instance, you have a token that you don't really care too much about because you're not doing uh, much about it except paying gas, like the wrap phantom token here. So let's say you have a thousand dollars of this and you say, eh, I'd rather uh, invest it in here. At least I'm getting all these nice tokens in one shot. This is to save you time and gas, okay? That's, that's why this feature exists. You just use one token and it spreads boom in one shot you have a, a balance portfolio like this all right but if you have uh let's say if you start with this and you have your rap memo tokens and you say oh i'm gonna get uh, 54,000 percent on my one thousand dollar rap memo and you just deposit rap memo and you don't deposit the other tokens in there what's gonna happen now your thousand dollars of rap memo becomes two hundred dollars of rap memo. Be aware of this before you do it. I mean, it's not the end of the world. You can just withdraw it. As easy as it is to deposit, it's as easy to withdraw. Uh, you deposit one of the tokens and you take out, you know, you can take out uh, any of the tokens, okay, that you, you want. So you could deposit uh, Phantom and withdraw memo, rap memos. Uh, or, okay, because, because it, it performs all the transactions automatically for you. That's how Balancer works. And that's how Beethoven works as well, because it's a copy. All right? Now, let's go back to this here. So, for this, I don't think there are deposit fees. I don't see any. Okay, on Balancer, there aren't. Uh, any deposit fees so you save on that uh, what's the advantage the advantage is you have a, a, a portfolio of several assets you have five tokens in there and if you really 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 like uh, Daniele you're betting on, on his wisdom I guess pretty smart so that, that might not be a bad idea it's up to you you're a fan of Daniele you say hey uh, I can invest in uh, four of his tokens in one shot why not it, it, it looks interesting. All right, so how about the security of this thing? Okay, well, I checked about the audits. And they did not perform an audit of their own website, which I prefer. But they say that Balancer uses, uh, sorry, Beethoven uses Balancer uh, version 2 contracts verbatim. Verbatim means they did not change a one line of code, they say. And they say verbat and, uh, that the balancer contracts have been uh, at several full audits that we all know because balancer is very well audited. And they have a comprehensive bug bounty program, which is even better. So basically they're paying hacker to find bugs in their, their code. So if you're a hacker, go there if you want to make money find the bugs and fix the, con uh, the contract. So it, it's up to you uh, if you want to uh, say, okay, I trust that they're not lying to me into my face and that they did not change the contracts of Balancer. You could check the, the, the code on GitHub here if you're a programmer 
and you could compare the contracts and go through all that yourself. So basically you're doing the auditing yourself. You could do that if you're a coder. I'm not a coder, I'm not going to do uh, that myself. So if I wanted to trust this, then it might not be a bad idea. That's your choice. All right. So uh, we talked about several strategies today that we can do on Phantom with uh, Wonderland using the wrap memos. Obviously, you find this interesting. So many news about Wonderland these days. Anyway, if you like this kind of stuff, please hit the like and subscribe. The algorithm wants it. Don't forget to hit the bell and download my free book. It's free. And if you don't like free, you can give $5.99 to Jeff Bezos at Amazon. And Jeff will send me a check for a dollar later. See you.